why uh, I've been assigned the uh, sort of the dark side of Al part of the evening. His favorite song, apparently, is Desperado by the Eagles, a song that has almost nothing to do with Al, as far as I can tell. It's about this like lonely man who's like, you know, the Desperado metaphor, he's some sort of outlaw who you know, uh, can't connect with other people, but the singer, who's Don Henley, with that warm rasp of his, saying, come back into the fold, Desperado, etc. But I can tell you for a fact that it wasn't all fun and games with Al. There was a deep, dark side. Uh, I was his assistant coach in Al's Angels, my first year coaching volleyball camp. And let me tell you, those kids did not get off easy. Uh, he would lose it sometimes, and he would yell at the beautiful little children. <laughs> and I, if I'm not mistaken, he would yell at volleyball players, too, from time to time. Um, his diabolical, I know I'm not supposed to be reflecting, but I am anyway, because I feel like it. Um, <laughs> Al's, I was the same way in my playing days. Uh, Al's diabolical uh, streak extended to the court. Um, in the Canyon Seaman note, we talk about his, um, his easy serves that he would throw in. Uh, he was also in charge of uh, judging your passing, how well you receive serve, which is, uh, for anyone who's ever done it, it's entirely stressful. You want to be right on the money. If you're not, you get really mad, and sometimes you behave very, very badly indeed. And I, I truly believe that I'll diabolically judge my perfect passes, in many cases, as imperfect. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to sing this song that has nothing to do with Al, but it certainly goes out to him. Come down. 